Hello, my name is Sandy Graves with uh, Seahead Portable Composting Toilets. Um, what I have here is an inline active ventilation 12 volt ventilation system using two 12 volt mini fans in this case. You can also use just one if it's adequate. What I'm going to do is reverse engineer this. Uh, this will be the fastest way to show you how to build one. Um, to begin with, uh, you can see we have the two attachments here where the line comes in. The, hot, the hose that is supplied with your C-head will uh, fit exactly over a piece of one inch PVC pipe. You want the one inch uh, thin wall uh, pipe for your connection. It will fit into this on this side and the same thing on this side going off the other way. Um, I didn't, but you can mark on here with an arrow the direction of the flow of the fans while you're assembling it. Okay, let's go ahead and take this apart here. Now, what you're going to need is two of these U-shaped uh, anchors. These are common plastic conduit anchors uh, that, will that will fit directly over the one-inch PVC connectors. I'll set them aside for right now. You will also need a small strap of the uh, plastic pipe strap. Uh, that's, you can find that in the plumbing department. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. It basically holds this together. Now if you were going to simply insert this in line somewhere and not anchor it to a bulkhead with these U-fittings, then you would need to put a piece of pipe strap on two sides. Uh, if it's anchored to a bulkhead, you only need to put it on the side that's facing outward. Okay, I'm going to get this out. It's just a short pan-headed stainless steel screw, one on each side. Okay. And there's the piece of pipe strap. And now you have the basic assembly. I have a short uh, uh, stub out here for the pipe to fit on, which is a piece of um, one inch PVC pipe, thin wall pipe. Okay, and back to the fan assembly itself. You can see that I've taken the hot and ground wires uh, for the 12 volt and uh, banded them together because this has two fans in it. You also need a connector to go uh, on the end of each of these. I'm going to go ahead and remove them and separate the wires here in a minute. But, as you can see, this is simply all bound together using uh, electrician's tape or atomic tape. Uh, you could also use aluminum um, tape, which, uh, which binds very well and also will conform to all these corners. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the PVC pot, I mean the, uh, excuse me, electrician's tape. And you can see that it simply, let me separate these, oops, hold on just a second. Continue to unwrap this. And you can see that initially the assembly was held together by simply using four pieces of tape on each side. If you remove those, you get down to the basic components. Which are nothing more than the two fan motors and two one inch PVC connectors. There's one right there, one right here, and of course the two fan motors. So, these are the basic components of what you need to make an inline vent. As you can see, this is a simple brushless uh, computer fan and uh, it draws 0.06 amps, 12 volts. 
you can get a slightly larger model. Um, this one here draws 0 0.08 amps and I believe it has a little bit more uh, flow on it. 